myself dr mani hod triple e as engineering college in this video uh, uh, we would uh, like to have a clarity on why birds will stand on power transmission lines uh, and as well as uh, why they are not electrocuted uh, this is a curiosity uh, may exist in all the human beings today in this video we will get a clarity on this right first of all why do birds sit on a power lines you can see on the right hand side uh, more, uh, many more birds are sitting on the transmission lines here right so here generally uh, uh, let me give you an idea the birds will sit on the transmission lines for two reasons first one is they will get a good vision on the uh, area without any obstacle to the uh, their vision so and second one they can easily observe their uh, food availability without any obstacles or the tree branches or something so uh, this is the main reason why the birds will sit on the uh, high uh, transmission lines first point and second one one more thing nobody will uh, like uh, think in that direction uh, birds will feel uh, like warmer uh, by sitting on the transmission lines the main reason is when we consider uh, the uh, temperature of the transmission lines will be a bit warmer compared to the especially in the cold weathers so that is the reason birds will sit on the transmission lines now the next question we will get how do birds sit on high voltage power lines without getting electrocuted what do you mean by electrocuted means they are not getting electrical shock even though they are sitting on the transmission lines so everyone were very curious what is happening in this particular uh, scenario right so uh, as we all know that power lines carry alternating current so and as well as the voltage will also alternate and if the birds will uh, sit on the lines uh, the voltage is constantly changing the same will happen so now uh, let me have uh, let we have a look into the uh, diagrams here you can see the birds sitting on the wires like and we can also see a squirrel on the line here so why nothing is happening to the birds sitting on the transmission lines and moreover they are carrying power that was the curiosity in every human being right so we'll have a, a discussion about this right there will be a capacitance on the bird also like but if you consider the shape of the the shape of the bird will be a spear so here uh, and uh, uh, it uh, carries very small current in micro amperes let us see uh, for a 50 h uh, frequency power line it will carry 0.01 micro amperes very small current that will flow through the bird and it does not cause anything to the bird means the bird does not get shock so suppose if we had in comparison with the uh, like human being uh, the minimum current flowing through the human body uh, suppose uh, it is of 10 milliampers uh, we can experience a painful thing but if it is up to a maximum of 50 milliampers then definitely he will get electrocuted electrocuted so here we need to observe nothing is happening for the bird but if the current exceeds in case of a human being uh, that they get a shock so that point we need to observe here so and now we will see uh, uh, here uh, like uh, uh, when a bird is sitting on the uh, transmission line uh, his two legs will be directly placed on the transmission line even though because those two legs on the same transmission line having the same voltage no current will flow through the bird so the bird is safe even though if the current flow is also it will be micro amperes as i already mentioned but uh, you see the second diagram here we can observe that the bird is touching with its wings uh, the two lines there so in that case what happens the bird get a shock and 
the main thing what we have to observe here when it is on the single line nothing will happen to the bird but if it touches between two lines or one conductor and the other metal part which was connected to the ground so during that case the bird will get a shock that we have to observe sometimes we'll observe practically birds uh, like uh, uh, died getting shock on the lines when it is touching having long wings of the birds right so that we can observe very clearly right let me tell you one point if we also could able to uh, catch the transmission lines but without touching the ground then we are also very safe so right but we couldn't do that thing right right uh, now i am going to explain various case studies how it will be uh, further explained see here uh, in the in this uh, first case i am considering uh, a circuit of high voltage which is between source and the load here and the bird is sitting on the a uh, top line and nothing is happening to the bird here right because even though it is high voltage as i already mentioned you there is no voltage difference between the bird sitting on the line so the bird don't get any current flow through that one so the bird is safe here next we'll see the second case here there is a man standing or touching the uh, top conductor in this diagram and here uh, this person will get a shock let me tell you why here uh, the uh, uh, circuit what we are considering or the power system is grounded here you see and the man standing over there he is touching the high voltage line or the top line suppose the so the the ground two grounds are connected because the man is standing on the ground so what happens he will get a shock here earth ground so in uh, intentionally this power circuit will be connected to ground most of the cases so during this case the person will get shock but the birds not this is the case 2 now go to the case t3 case 3 here in this one if you observe so the person who is standing there uh, will uh, at the touching the a uh, lower con bottom conductor and if you observe this one there is no current flowing through this one because the man is at the ground potential at the same time the bottom conductor is also connected to the ground so there is no potential difference so no current flowing through the person so person don't get shock even in this case birds also don't get shock so if we go move on to the fourth case here you can observe here there is no uh, grounding of the power system here so for this case uh, the man who is standing and touching the uh, top conductor even though he is directly on the ground nothing will happen to the person and the person don't get shock why because there is no return path for that person to current flow through that one and anyhow birds don't get shock here in this case now coming to the fifth case uh, it was a special case we need to observe like uh, however uh, what we have discussed till now uh, it will change all with an accidental ground what do you mean by accidental ground accidental ground by means of any accident unexpected thing will happen and there is a chance of getting uh, touching a tree uh, to the Uh, source here so suppose if you consider in this condition if you consider let us assume a tree falling on the bottom conductor here so during that time nothing will happen to the birds who are standing on the uh, uh, power lines this in this condition here accident ground path created through the tree completes the circuit shock current to flow through the victim here so here also the person will get a shock here you can see the current flow already i have shown here next and the sixth case if you observe the sixth case here uh, the a tree which is falling on the transmission line on the 
upper conductor and uh, uh, the persons uh, here in this case I am considering two persons uh, person who is touching the top conductor is not shocked suppose if any person touching the bottom conductor we can observe that why the top conductor person is not getting shock here because the same voltage is there so no current flowing through the person here so he won't get any shock there but coming to the person who is touching the bottom conductor we can find a path of the current flow in this direction mentioned here so there is a closed path through this person standing near the bottom conductor and it circuit is closed so there are chances definitely the person standing at the bottom conductor will get a shock here and we'll move on to the uh, next condition here uh, we can observe here there are two persons who are standing at the top conductor and the bottom conductor here but we need to observe here the power system is not grounded not grounded for this condition uh, the person who is standing in the top position as well as the bottom position uh, it they close the circuit and uh, there are chances uh, uh, for both the uh, uh, persons they may get shock even this condition also birds don't get shock so here we need to observe one point uh, like there is a deadly scenario the person standing at another uh, like top conductor he may think that he is touching only one conductor but he don't know that the system is not having uh, uh, un is ungrounded and there is a chance of other person who is standing at the other conductor he may create a path to the ground here so this is a very deadly scenario which is not at all advisable uh, finally with this uh, we can conclude one point uh, here uh, uh, this is why uh, the ungrounded power systems are very dangerous so whatever may be the power system we are considering must be grounded otherwise it may create like uh, uh, very dangerous to the uh, people who are touching and that situation also we cannot expect what happens during the accidental uh, earthing so uh, finally if you observe uh, from this entire uh, discussion at any condition the birds don't get electrocuted means they won't get any shock because they are standing on the same power line single power line and there won't be any voltage difference and the current flowing through this bird is negligible so that is the reason birds will be safe even they are standing on the power line thank you hope you understand this concept very well thank you one and all